Somebody that I am bidding on and I'm legit excited for, especially because I stashed him in a couple leagues, is Kenneth Gainwell. Played about 40% of snaps. Kenny G playing that smooth jazz. Careless whisper. I thought that there was a chance that he was going to start the season behind Boston Scott, but man, is he freaking good. And he just absolutely leapt frog him right out the gate. Uh, Kenny or Boston Scott did not play a snap. It was all Kenny G uh, in the two minute offense. Hurry up and passing down. Um, Miles Sanders was nowhere to be found because homeboy, I think led running backs and drops from uh, last year, but Kenny G, man, he looked good. He looked so freaking smooth. Um, how much fab are you spending on him? I'm going big. If Kenny G is out there for in, in a league and I'm desperate, I think I would I would go s- probably like Lat Murray level big. Oh no. Uh, yeah. Jason. I would Jason. I would I would go high teens, low twenties on Kenny G. Oh no. Yeah. Hundred percent. No, you don't have to though. Well, if you want to make sure that you get him, I, you don't think so. What do you think you got to go for Kenny G? He's rostered in three point five percent of leagues, and that He's should RB. go up to like forty percent, fifty plus. Yeah, but he—it's not like so RB twenty week. It's not like he's going to be at the t- like. He's the a rookie of, in his first week. I know that. But you're not. You don't need to go high teens for, for him. I I think you can just get him and slip him in without people even realizing you're adding him. You really don't think so? Yeah, like I don't think you need to go over like three dollars. Huh. Well, um, I'll just say this about what I think about Kenny Gainwell's potential he he went to memphis which is where antonio gibson went to as well and remember when antonio gibson came out of nowhere and wasn't really used that much uh and then came in and just absolutely exploded all over the league and he and he was a senior graduate and it's like wow this guy was hardly used do you know who the freshman running back was that took his job it was Kenny Gainwell. I'm just saying. I just, I, <laughs> Jason uh, loves Memphis RBU apparently uh, oh, down down there. It absolutely and, uh, is. And uh, I, if you're gonna, you will absolutely get Kenneth Gainwell if uh, you are bidding in the in the teens for him. I don't. I just don't think you need to do that. I maybe I don't know if you if you're in the Philly area you sure as hell do. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I, I'm, my Miles Sanders is still the guy there until he probably gets hurt at some point. He should definitely be rostered, um, but I I don't think you need to be spending that much on a very clear cut backup running back. Miles mediocre Sanders who can't stay healthy and can't catch passes. I just think it that the f- coaching staff maybe gets a little frustrated having him there and maybe turns to a more dynamic player, such as a Kenny G I'm hoping anyways. Yeah. Rostered in 3% of leagues. You don't have to spend all that fab to get him. Um, but man, did he look good? He also, and the thing too is that nobody, I, I don't think a lot of people are going to know. Yes. He had one touchdown, but he actually had a second touchdown called back on penalty. So if you give him that extra six, eight points and he, yes, he goes, he goes from a top 20 running back to like potentially a top 12 or top 15 anyway. I think that the, those waiver claims start creeping up a little bit higher. So I would just, I'm just going to say it now, if you want Kenny G, you better get him before it's too late. I would uh, not go more than $1. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. You just won't get him. <laughs> 